Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account. Just got the rewards for our treasure scramble. So very, very cool. We are almost up to 80,000 diamonds at this point. In addition, looking at the time emblems that we have, we have started accumulating a lot of these 499. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, between the diamonds and the stargazers, um, that we can get the new hero that is coming up on Tuesday. We know patch notes are going to be up on Monday. New hero is going to be on Tuesday. And then, of course, a lot of other things like draconic insignias. We are now looking for land, but we also have the event with the oath ring that is up right now. Now, something that I got a lot of questions on that I wanted to look at is within here and the Knight's Path. You are going to be capped at the Knight's Path. And we looked at this a little bit earlier. When you look at this chest at 550, so the 550 unlock is right here. You can see you can get the, the following rewards. When you're coming in here, if you are completely free to play, you can only cap at 540 points. You cannot get to the 550 like this. Um, I went ahead and I spent that $99, 99 cent pack that we picked up in here to get to the 550, so made a little bit more progression out of there. But overall, it's kind of short and kind of... um kind of scammy in my opinion, um, that they do cut you 10 points short from getting this out of here, which of course, looking at all of the heroes, looking at the rewards that we do get out of here, um, not really worth it unless you want to put a stupid amount of money in here to actually finish it out. Now, Treasure Scramble, this is another one. We scored 96, and that means that's right. This concludes another iteration of it. Got some resources, but the season is over for the Treasure Scramble. 96, I am happy. We have been staying consistently within that top 100, which of course, heavy PVP in the Treasure Scramble, but we also have the Heroes of Espria. This is a part that I've been farming out and really fighting quite a bit in. I wanna run through here, show you exactly what I'm running. You can see some guildies in there, but you'll notice that with the cards you're getting on a regular basis, you might have to drop some diamonds in here. Now, the goal for this is getting to Masters. That's it, that is where you wanna get even players. And we had a player uh, this morning over on um, Reddit that was talking about, they made it all the way to masters with a very, very low combat rating, um, making it over there. And we've also seen some players with Riz and Soren that have now killed the boss at level 240. So literally being probably the lowest level that you can be to kill Riz and Soren. With the awakened version of Belinda, they were actually to kill Riz and Soren. So that really shows you, and, and honestly, how much the impact and how much um, the, the power creep that we have seen within AFK Arena. Now you can see, even here, looking at the difference between the teams, guys, this one's at 200 million. Um, Nawad is almost at 400 million. So definitely stepping it in either a little bit lower right here, because looking at where we're at, we're at 332, they're at 313. Again, with the buff, usually you can overpower a lot of teams depending where you are. If you don't have the power within here to, to kind of, like I said, go ahead and overpower the teams, you're going to have to use a lot of strategy. So what I mean by that, going in here, looking at the formations, because there are counters to some different formations, depending what it is. And a lot of players do run very similar formations, but a lot of them are very, very dependent on the ability to take out um, other teams. And depending on the formation they're fighting, it can be kind of counterintuitive to when it comes to, and you can see all of these PVP formations, which we'll run through in just a minute, um, are pretty much the same. When you look at the enemy side, when you look at my side, most of them are pretty much the same formations. Biggest difference in here is the levels, where if I'm running, you know, 18 levels above the opponent, that is a pretty significant um, combat rating difference when it comes to building these up. Now we're pushing to star one, Star 1 is a place, again, Star 1 you want to get into and then into Masters. Masters, once you hit that rank, you no longer lose your rank. So you can actually stay exactly in Masters where you need to be. And I'm thinking we might be able to level up in here. Let's go for 188. And you also notice the points have diminished greatly. We only have, I believe, three more days, just a little less than three days to actually fill this out. I tried a Draconic team. So if you notice, my last team is Draconic. There we go to Star 1. This, of course, is going to give us some baits, which we unfortunately really don't use at all. But we don't have that much longer until we get to right here at Masters. I believe it is just over 12,010, maybe 12,010, maybe 12,100. But you can see it's going to be a very, very slow roll unless we can take out some of these bigger, bigger players. So I want to see what we can do in here. So three, see, even here, Kalthan's not built as much as mine is. But let's see what we can do. See, 
it's almost the exact same formation, a little bit changed out with Rimuru and Shuna in there. And then of course we have the team with Rem and Ulna. This is where I'm running Rem and Ulna. You know what, let's see if we can do it. I don't like PVP. Let's be honest here, guys. I do not like PVP at all. I think this formation is probably gonna kill us. And this might actually be, um, yeah, so see, they took us out for all the formations, zero of three. But again, you can come in here, you can swap up your formations. Levels are gonna make a big difference in here, but we can even go through here and who are we fighting? Reb and Amelia in here. We could possibly even throw this one up here. Right here, again, it's gonna be kind of a slow burn. We can put Shamira in there. And then this one's kind of interesting because this is running the Awakened version of Iran and Team 5 in here is just horrible right now. Again, I, I dropped in some of our Draconic heroes. Wasn't even, I wasn't even really playing around at all. Let's see. No, still, we won two out of three on that one. So you can see kind of how you can play around and mess around with the formations. Even looking here, 371, 398. We have some very, very strong players, but right here, 179. This might be a lot easier to get through. Now, of course, going back and forth, seeing exactly where we are in comparison does make a big difference. Also with where you have the heroes built out and where they are placed with that Endeavor ability. See, even here, very, very strong, heavy PVP teams even at a lower combat rating. And I wanna see what they're doing here. Because again, my PVP skills, I, I don't have them at all. I do not PVP, but looking here, they're running Eugene in here with Sophia. So that again is a pretty interesting combination. I wonder if an Athelia combination might take that out. And I might have to switch out some of these formations. I honestly might have to change out a couple of these formations just based on who we're running right here. Look at that, they're not even running Ulna anymore. It is Amelia in this one. There are Shamir and Hildwin, and of course running uh, Misha in here. Yeah, that, this is some pretty solid teams. Might have to change up my teams a little bit. And Ulna in here, look at that. Ulna with the Awakened version of Iran. That's gonna be a pretty good combination in here. You know what, I'm gonna try it one more time. And then I wanna see formation to formation. So copying some of the formations. Even, yeah, there's the zero of three. Let me copy the formation and see what we can do with this one. All right, guys, so changing up the team, you can see that we went three and zero in here and we did just literally mirror the formations. It's a good way to do it if you have some very, very strong players. And I'm wondering in here, again, kind of looking at where we're at, let's buy some more challenger tickets. Another 10 diamonds, not really too worried about that. But we did swap up the team. So I wanna show you kind of the teams that we're running in here now, because the old ones, we're just the, um, the last time we did the Heroes of Espria were the ones that are sitting in here. So we have the Awakened version of Lucius in here with Jerome, um, Gavis in here, of course, for the mitigation. Shuna in here and Lavatoon in here for the buffs. Works super, super well synergy. In here, it is the Awakened version of Shmira, Lucila, Liberta. Together, we have um, Hildwin in here, of course, for the nullification. And then we do have our new hero right here, um, which is Misha which runs a lot of defensive opportunities between here, keeping these heroes alive. Then we do have the seal in here in this team. Then of course, right here, we are running, we had Ulna and we had Rem. Now we're running the Awakened version of Iran because we have him built very similar to what we have in the back line. I did keep Ezio in here, kind of went back and forth, but I do love Ezio in the formation as a finisher. We'll have to see how it comes out. This was the interesting team. So they're running, you can see the enemy side running Liberta and Lucila. Um, this is running the Awakened version of Sophia with Palmer. And of course, Naruko in here. I was not using not a single um, Mauler within here, which again is kind of interesting to see. And then we do have Athelia in here with instant crowd control right here from Amelia. And then we do have Rem in here. And of course, the buffing from um, Rimuru and also from Elbeto in the back. So let's see what this looks like within these team formations here. And I'm wondering, so Lucius comes out, see, look at the buffs right off the bat. This is keeping them alive, allowing us, and I know again, big, big difference with level deficiencies in here. And we're also fighting the awakened version of Athelia on the enemy side. So we need a lot of buffs to keep this together because Athelia is a monster to kill. It is very, very hard to kill that awakened version of Athelia because she ults so quick. And I'm wondering if we're not gonna get through this one, again, just because of how fast and how powerful she is. Yeah, that's gonna be a defeat. Descendant, of course, the disintegration right off the bat with Shmira. Tough team to fight as the first one. 
This, of course, is, is the opposite that we literally just seen. This is running the awakened version of my Shimira versus their, um, their awakened version of Lucius. And we know should work pretty well. I don't know about Slumbering Seal in this one because they are running the Fox Fatal, but it looks like we might be able to get this one down. And again, team versus team. The, the PvP teams are very similar when it comes to one another. And sometimes this gets stuck. Look at the seal literally dancing down there. All right, so this is the Iran team. This, again, is kind of a newer one. I want to see what this looks like. See, Laika got insta-killed with Ezio. I didn't know, and I was unsure if that Ezio combination was going to work. But even Rem is working incredibly in here versus which we did win, but versus the Awakened version of um, Iran. And then, of course, right here is Sophia with the SP effect. Eugene can ult so fast. He's one, of course, we do have to build up a little bit further. We've got the fear aspect at the back. But Liberta Lucila is a tough... Very tough combination that we're getting back here. See, this is going to be a defeat. I don't think we're going to win this one, guys. Boom, we still got the last one. Very cool. So that does amp us up. We go up one in our division. So, all right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. I had to change up the lineups in here again. PvP, I don't like doing. I get to Masters, and pretty much that's where I quit the PvP aspect. But again, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.